today we'll be taking a look at how to triple check you have your colors right especially your skin tones because they're probably the most important thing whenever you're you're color grading or correcting and exposing your your images now if you haven't seen my other videos on how to color correct how to color grade and how to check for skin tones you should first watch them because this video builds upon those those uh tutorials and i'll leave links to those videos in the description below so go ahead and check them out so you you know what i'm talking about all right let's open up first of all the scopes and let's turn on the shape mask and as you can see the the skin tone is falling right in the the skin tone line um, also if we take a look at our waveform it falls between 50 and 65 so it's telling me that i'm pretty accurate let me close down the scopes let me turn off the shape mask so this was this this project was the last one i worked on and i was ready to export this because i thought well it looks pretty good the the uh, shape mask the and the vector scope is telling me that it's pretty accurate so i'm ready to go but i decided that i needed to triple check that this looks just exactly how i want it to look because it's very hard to rely on my, on your eyes because your eyes are subjective let me explain what i mean let me minimize this so i can show you what i do um now i mentioned in my last video as well that I take screenshots of profiles that I like, especially people that I follow online. Um, so if we look at Unbox Therapy, I like how they set up their camera down low, the the lighting in the background. I like the silhouette, his, how his face is well lit up. Also, if we take a look at Patrick from Still Motion, he's got the same type of look going on, except he's got shadows. I prefer the, the shadow type of look. Um, over the the face being well lit up i don't know why it just looks more dramatic and i also like his colors better his colors look a little bit less saturated this is a little bit more saturated so it's important to take screenshots of of uh, colors you like that way you can replicate the lighting and also the colors. so that's what i've been doing um, and it's helped me get better as a color grader or as a colorist Let's take a look at this guy from the art of photography when i saw his profiles i thought wow these are amazing colors and i'm pretty sure patrick and this guy are probably using canon cameras and and probably very expensive gear if we compare this to a screenshot i took of a video i did i don't know a couple months ago when i wasn't too conscious of of uh, skin tones and lighting uh you can see compared to them my skin is very pale it doesn't look as creamy or as vibrant as theirs. This is why it was important for me to start looking at, at the masters to make sure I, I got somewhere in the ballpark. Okay. Um, now let's take a look at some other screenshots. Let me close down Patrick. Okay. Come on. Oh, let me close this. Okay. Now, if you see, this is another screenshot I took from another video he did. Here, he looks more saturated there. His face looks more vibrant. It draws more attention. That's what's nice about it. Um, compared to mine, I look very pale. And compared to this other one, he also looks, this one now looks undersaturated. This probably looks more natural, but this one draws more attention. That's what's nice about it. Let's take a look at another screen, another screenshot. Let's close this one down. Let's let me arrange this. Okay. So this one falls, I think, right in the middle. This one is not overly saturated like this one, and it's not undersaturated like this one. But you see, it's all by comparison because when I first opened this one up, this looked perfect. But now by comparison, this one looks perfect. So, you know, it's it's a matter of developing uh, your, your taste, of developing uh, your sense of color. Now, for me, I'm going to keep this as my master comparison. This is what I named it because I've, I feel like this is the best of both worlds. 
it's not overly saturated and it's not undersaturated. Again, it's 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 just only by comparison that I'm able to make these judgments. So let me close this ones down. And like I said, I'm gonna name this my master comparison to make sure I get somewhere around here. Okay, let me close this one down and let's bring up Final Cut Pro again. And let's see how it compares. Uh, you see, now that I'm comparing to my master, I look, I don't look as vibrant or it looks pretty dull. So I'm gonna make sure I bring up some of that saturation and to do that, I'm going to I'm going to add a second color correction. So I had already color corrected and color graded this image. Um, let me show you what I did. You see that? But I'm going to delete it to show you exactly the process of adding saturation. So what I can do is I can go back to my first correction and I can say add a correction. So this is a second color correction. First thing I want to do is I want to bring up some of those uh, highlights because it's a little bit too dull. So what I can do is just bring it up a little bit and bring up the midtones just slightly. So what I'm doing right now is just adding a little bit more light to my picture. Not too much, just a little bit. Now, if we go to the saturation tab, what I can do is bring up the global. I don't know, somewhere around there, 16, 15. And then I can bring up the, the mids a little bit, which to my knowledge, the mids bring up the, the skin tones. Again, I don't want to rely on my eyes. So let me bring up the picture. Uh, almost there, not quite. This is more vibrant. And I'm thinking because this is because he has a ring light and it's lighting up his face really nice. And you can see that it's a ring light by... Uh, that right there. I'm pretty happy. It's pretty close, not quite. I, I do like the faded look, so I don't mind it so much. Let me bring up uh, Patrick's profile. Oh, let me close this one down and make this one smaller. Let's see where I fall. You see, Patrick, it's not as vibrant as this guy from the art of photography. I don't know his name, um, but I think I fall somewhere in the middle and I'm very happy with the result. So I know that, that at least I'm somewhere around here, which is what I wanted. So let's just close this down and I'm going to call this the finished look I'm going for. So one other thing that I just figured out and that I, that I realized that I could do is I could save all these presets by clicking this button over here, save effects preset. I had never heard anyone mention it. Maybe they have, but I forgot about it. But what you can do is you can save the color corrections, hold on, the LUT, the sharpen mask, um, and your second color correction. And you can save it. So next time, if you're shooting the same scene with the same lighting and the same setup, you can apply all these settings and you'll know you get it, the consistent look every video. Um, so I already did that. I, I added a new category called my color grading. I can name this my second or my picture, hold on, my picture profile. And I can save it. And let's see if I were to delete all the, remove all the effects from this video. This is a flat S log image. As you can see, it removed all the color correction, the LUTs and, and the second color correction and the sharpen to everything. What I can do now is go to my effects. And uh, where is it? Let's see. My color grading. And I can say my picture profile, drag it over to my footage and boom, it adds all the effects, the color correction, the light, the sharpen, the second color correction, and even the shape mask. So yeah, that's pretty much the process. I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, as always, go ahead and ask in the comment section. Lastly, I just want to add that I am not a professional colorist. 
this is just my process and what's worked for me really well. Hopefully you can apply some of the things that I do and apply it to your own process. This way you can also get the style you're trying to go for. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.